How's it going, people? It's my second video of the day. It just occurred to me that chapter two of Helaman is really short. And why not do another chapter? Get it out of the way. Okay, chapter two of the book of Helaman. Helaman, the second, is appointed chief judge. Uh, Kishkumen killed. <laughs> Secret combinations. The Gideonton robbers. Oh boy. All right. Sorry, I just I remember all this shit now. It's been a while, but uh, one. And it came to pass. In the forty and second year of the reign of the judges, which is uh part of the asterisk, BC fifty. After Moroni, uh, Moroni Ha, excuse me, <laughs> had established again peace between the Nephites and the Lamanites, behold, there was no one to fill the judgment seat. Therefore, there began to be a contention among the people uh, concerning who should fill the judgment seat. Two. And it came to pass And it came to pass that Helaman, who was the son of Helaman, was appointed to fill the judgment seat by the voice of the people. I mean, they don't have to change any of the stationery, you know. <laughs> Same signet ring's gonna work, you know. Three. But behold, Kish Kuman, that king killer. Well, all right, priest killer. Judge killer, who had murdered Pahorak, did lay wait to destroy Helaman also. And he was upheld by his band, who had entered into a covenant that no one should know of his wickedness. For, for there was one. Gaddy Anton, who was exceeding expert in many words, in also and also in his craft to carry on the secret work of murder and of robbery, therefore he became the leader of the band of Kishkumen. Five. Therefore, he did flatter them, and also Kishkumen, that if they would place him in the judgment seat, he would grant unto those who belong to his band that they should be placed in power and authority among the people. Therefore, Kishkumen sent out to destroy Helaman. Six. 
And it came to pass. Six. And it came to pass, as he went forth towards the judgment seat to destroy Helaman, behold, one of the servants of Helaman, having been out by night, and having obtained through disguise a knowledge of those plans which had been laid by his band, this band, had been laid by this band to destroy Helaman, Seven, and it came to pass <coughs> that he met Kishkumen, and he gave unto him a sign. Therefore, Kishkumen made known unto him the object of his desire desiring that he would conduct him to the judgment seat, that he might murder Helaman. 8. And when a servant of Helaman had known all the heart of Kishkumen, and how that it was his object to murder, and also that it was the object of all those who belonged to his band to murder, and to rob, and to gain power, Parenticles. And this was their secret plan and their combination in principle. The servant of Helaman said unto Kishkumen, Let us go forth unto the judgment seat. 9. Now, this did please Kishkumen exceedingly, for he did suppose that he should accomplish his design. But behold, the servant of Helaman, as they were going forth unto the judgment seat, did stab Kishkumen, even to the heart, that he fell dead without a groan. And he ran and told Helaman all the things which he had seen and heard and done. Ten, and it came to pass. Helaman did send forth to take this band of robbers and secret murderers that they might be executed according to the law. 11. But behold, when Gaddy Anton had found that K Kishkumen did not return, he feared lest that he should be destroyed. Therefore, he caused that his band should follow him and they took their flight out of the land by a secret way into the wilderness. And thus, when Helaman went forth to take them, they could nowhere be found. Twelve. And more of this Gaddy Anton shall be spoken hereafter. And thus ended the forty and second year of the reign of the judges over the people of Nephi. <coughs> Thirteen. Man. Just because. And behold, in the end of this book, Ye shall see that this Gaddy Anton did prove the overthrow, yea, almost the entire destruction of the people of Nephi. 14. Behold, I do not mean the end of the book of Helaman. Oh, no. But I mean the end of the book of Nephi, from which I have taken all the account which I have written. And that's it for two.
That wasn't so bad. Actually, <laughs> let me rephrase. Never mind. All right. You know what? I'm going to go for a three for, I think. But I'm going to close this one. So, I hope to see you in Chapter 3. <gasps> Let's get this bad boy out of the way. Peace. The fuck out. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having. And if you get a chance, you gotta pick this soundtrack up. There. Bye. And uh, stay tuned.